ー、皆さんこんにちは池部が起点ハートマンギターズの明日と申します、えー、本日はですね、えー、テラヤ社よりはるばるアンディパーズさんに来ていただきましたよろしくお願いいたしますアンディさん本日は、えー、新しいテラのギターのシェイプについていくつか質問を用意しています、えー、まず一つ目なんですけれどもえー、GP、えー、グランドパシフィックは今までのテイラーと比べるとすごくリッチな生音がするように感じるんですけどグランドパシフィックはどのようなコンセプトで設計されたんでしょうか Right Well I'm a, I'm a big fan of bluegrass and country western music and I like a lot of the kinds of sounds that I'd hear on records that I grew up with So listening to artists like Doc Watson or Lester Flatt Tony Rice even I grew up listening to those records and hearing those sounds and in, a, in many cases I've had a chance to work on some of those actual instruments that made the records that I loved and when I'd listen to those instruments I liked the record better <laughs> and so I wanted to build a guitar that had the aesthetic and the sonic value of some of those, those traditional sounds that I grew up hearing But put into a context that was a little more refined and a little more modern for the way that musicians today wanted to use that instrument. ありがとうございます。えー、グランドパシフィックは、えー、V ブレーシングと一緒に開発されたというふうに、えー、聞いているんですけれども、そのトラディショナルなサウンドっていうところと全く新しい V ブレーシングこういったところがどういうふうどういうふうな変化をもたらしたのかなというふうに気になっているんですけれども。Yeah, yeah, actually,、um, it's a really good observation because what I was looking for with the Grand Pacific was a, the ability to control that sound and create something that was uniform and linear and well balanced, but with the kind of dynamic range and responsiveness you would get out of a guitar that had been recorded and then kind of smoothed out. And so I, I was trying to achieve that initially with a traditional X bracing. I realized, well, building a guitar in the modern way that we're going to build a guitar, it's not going to get what it's not going to get the result that I'm looking for. And so I started thinking about it in terms of how I might approach an archtop guitar or a classical guitar or some of these other, or a mandolin even, some of these other instrument traditions and incorporated part, elements of those designs. Into that instrument. And when I did that, I realized,、oh, I've got something here. V ブレーシングを開発したときに、えー、桟橋の端のところにこう波が抜けていくところからデザインされたっていうことをあの聞いていたんですけれども。Yeah, into a jetty, yeah. Yeah, yeah so the, the way that,、um, the, way that it, the idea initially came to me was. I'm an ocean enthusiast. I have lived around the ocean my whole life, and I'm an avid surfer and paddler. And I'd gone down to the water early one morning, and it, it had become stormy overnight. And so I was standing on the bluff looking at the seascape, and instead of getting good riding waves, <laughs> what I thought, what I got was nothing, nothing that I wanted to go out in. And it occurred to me that, that what I was seeing was very similar to what I was hearing in the guitars that I was building at the time. And so I, that struck, stuck with me. It left an impression. And so several days later, when the weather had turned, I went to a different surf spot and there was a jetty built out to sea. And it was the ocean surface was perfectly calm and smooth, but the swell was there. There were great waves for riding. And it occurred to me that that was like a parallel to what I wanted to create in the guitar itself. Well, it's, to me, it's a very interesting thought when you can take, you can observe something in one context and it teaches you something about a different context. I think that happens with musicians often because you're making an observation about the world around you and then refining that into a Place that at first glance might not have been related. And yet, you see how connected everything becomes. Stick in our hands, Kite, to the Mo, Koe, this. Eto, Andy Paz, Sanga, Vibrating, no, Sound, the Ichiban, Skinatan, or Hitots, Oshetamarate, this. 
I love the accuracy of the pitch of each note. The dynamic range is great, the sustain is great, the volume is great, but to my ears, one of the things that I miss when I take, a, take the V bracing away from a guitar is the accuracy of the notes. Because when I play this guitar and I've tuned it well, every note I play feels almost like a piano. So I can play complex chords, I can play all kinds of melodies, all kinds of harmonies, and to me it just sounds sweeter because of the accuracy of those notes. ではもう一つ新しいシェイプについて質問させていただきます、えー、GT サイズグランドシアターは、えー、これは日本のお客さんのイメージなのかもしれないですけど GS ミニを豪華にしたそういう風な印象をお持ちのお客様が、えー、非常に多いんですねただ実際に弾くとあのなりの違いがすごくあの GS ミニとは違うものだとすごくいい音だという風に、えー、言われる方が非常に多くてで GT サイズこれは僕らも非常にいいギターだというふうに思ってるんですけれども、えー、アンディ・パースさんが思う GT シリーズの特徴これを教えていただけますでしょうか Yeah, it was a glorified GS Mini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, actually, I actually started the, the design by blending what I loved about a GS Mini size, but wanting to make it feel like a more grown up Full scale instrument. And so, if you were to line up a GS Mini、uh, Grand Theater and then a Grand Concert, you'll find that the three sizes are nearly perfect stepwise in a series.、Mm. Because I wanted something that had low string tension, something that was smaller and comfortable to hold, almost like a parlor guitar, but with more modern proportions. And I wanted a bigger voice out of what the guitar was. GS ミニどうしてもスケールが短いギターなのであのピッチの話またここで出てくると思うんですけどあの新しい GT は非常にピッチも良いと何か秘密があるんでしょうか Yeah, essentially what happens is if you were to take a long scale guitar、uh, such as this, this is a 25 and a half inch scale if I tuned it down one half step But then put a capo at the first fret so it's back into concert pitch. That's the scale length that I have for Grand Theater. And so the string tension is exactly the same as dropping a typical guitar like this PS14 down a half step. やっぱり最近は非常にあのフィンガースタイルだったりとかテクニカルなあのギターを弾かれる方が多いので GT シリーズっていうのはそういう方に向いてるかもしれないですね。Very. It's very fast. It's very easy on your hands. And some of the longer reaches for chords, because you're working with a shorter string length, you could reach a long stretch for real interesting voices. And it works very, very well for that. <laughs>